not opening. Shale, can you see to the lock? Just a moment. for reliable. Follow the passage inside and you'll come to an elevator. It'll take you to the 11th level. Right. Let's keep moving. Seventh level, just below the summit. Look, Soul Cells. This is where they're kept. What? Then these are all. Indeed. Many died in the attack. Their souls would have been processed and transported here for storage. Or so I had expected. A soul cell is supposed to light up green when loaded, isn't it? Yet the light is out on most of these. He's already used them up! That's why he cut down one of his own. For the regulator! Lest you wonder, all is well in Taral. The enemy has withdrawn, freeing us up to come and lend you a hand. The backroom crew gave us a briefing. No rest for the righteous as usual, eh? The idea of empowering oneself with souls is rather reminiscent of void sent practices. I should be keen to learn more about the process, after more pressing matters have been resolved. <laughs> I believe I speak for everyone when I say I'm glad you're here. As you'll have heard, the Alexandrians have suffered heavy casualties. We must stop Zoralja before it gets any worse. Thank you for coming with me this far, my friends. And I ask you to lend me your strength one last time. Together, let us defeat Zorolja and safeguard the future of Tulihyola. And here is where I must excuse myself. Come back in one piece. You hear me? We will. Every one of us.
the world is that? It couldn't be a void gate. It's enormous. Aye, it dwarfs even the ones Aromas opened. That is no void gate. It doesn't lead to the 13th. Then... Yes, in all likelihood, it's a portal to yet another reflection. By the 12? To think that realities being fused together was only the beginning. The speculation must wait. He's here. There is a limit to how much ether a living being can harbor while retaining its physical form. Zoralja has far exceeded that limit. With the souls he has absorbed, he has attained power to rival even a king among void scent, but at a terrible cost. Twelve have mercy. Brother! It ends here and now. How it vexes when you call me brother. my path. Why was I born? I am Wuk Lamat, vow of resolve of Tuli Hyolo. And you are Zorolja, king of resolve of Alexandria. For the last time, we fight for duty, for blood, for everything. Yes, we fight. Hold nothing back. This multitude of souls I shall burn to the last moat. I will kill you and prove the miracle. I will prove that I am father's true successor.
further. Father, is that you? it hurts because I don't understand why it had to be this way why don't I know you why didn't you want me that matter? Couldn't you have just been there? You think Papa left you nothing? You God's damned fool! You have the one thing. He couldn't leave anyone else. You and Kalulcha.
It's not over. Zorolja is gone. There's no need to fight anymore. Sveen? Why are you here? I wanted to express my gratitude to you all for vanquishing the King of Resolve and delivering my people. And to express my regret for what I've done to yours. Your apologies won't bring back our dead or lessen your guilt. Still, to strike you down in revenge would trigger all-out war between our nations. More innocents would suffer. Even if we cannot be friends right now, we need to find a different path forward. A way that Tulihyola and Alexandria can coexist. I fear that can never be. What do you mean? There is no other path for us. It's too late. I cooperated with Zeralja because I needed the life force yielded by the slain to sustain the Endless. Of course, the King betrayed me, and with his army defeated, that plan can no longer be realized. I can't, I won't, fail my people. Be they possessed of flesh or no, all of them are dear to me. If there is something I can do for them, as their queen, I must do it. Hear me, Sveen. We appreciate your commitment to serving the Alexandrians and have endeavored to understand your beliefs. Be that as it may, you must know it's wrong to sacrifice our living to save your dead. I see. It's because you do not know them that you believe they're dead. They're not. So long as they are remembered, they shall never die. You understand, don't you? No matter what anyone may say, I refuse to believe that Kafkiwa's is a hollow existence, that she can simply be allowed to fade away. I am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sveen of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. For them, I will do anything. No price is too high. Seven.
and hells. What is it? There exists a legend in Alexandria. In ages past, faced with a calamity in their world, a clan of people used a singular power to flee to ours. The key which manifests this power answers to fervent desires, desperate, all-consuming supplications that have given rise to many a miracle. That key holds the secret to interdimensional fusion, and unraveling its mysteries was the foremost mission of the scientists of preservation. Alas, they failed to fully grasp its workings, leaving us with only partial control over it. Nevertheless, if I'm to sustain the inhabitants of living memory, I have no choice but to call upon its power. And do what with it? For hundreds of years I tried, but it was all to no avail. My benevolence did naught to protect my realm. But I can still take up arms and fight. If bloodshed will save my subjects, then I will become history's most brutal queen.